the brand new, the all new 2023 Indian Sport Chief right there. Spoke about everything that I liked about the bike, everything I love, and then I spoke about everything that I would like to change about this bike if I had one. Welcome back to another video guys. Here we have the brand new, the all new 2023 Indian Sport Chief right there. This thing is beautiful. Indian has done a great job. If you guys are familiar with the Chief, they have done some major, major upgrades. It's not the same Chief you know from 2021 or 2022. So in this video, we're gonna be doing an in-depth review. We're gonna be going over all the changes that Indian has done to this bike. We are here also in beautiful Austin, Texas. My first time being out here and it's quite beautiful. It's a bit cloudy right now. Uh, for the most part, the day was really, really, really beautiful though. So huge shout out to Indian for having us out here. Uh, it's been a pledge. So here we have the Indian Chief Sport. We're going to start off with the front, which is the most noticeable that you guys are looking at right now, which is beautiful fairing. I'm a huge, huge fan of it. And we have a ladybug right there for good luck. <laughs> so this to me is more of a... Um, of a retro style fairing, uh, something you would see out of the 80s. I really like the vents right here, the cutout vents. It makes it look different. Um, this in one in particular, this one might be the four and six inch windshield on it. I'm not quite too sure because uh, they had a few bikes out and a few of them have uh, a few different ones on them. But um, it looks like this is the six inch. They do have an option that you can purchase uh, and that one's gonna be a nine inch windshield and has also a nice little curve on top. Um, that one's really, really nice. Um, so huge fan of the fairing comes with this LED day maker right here in the front which is really really nice uh, making our way back over here to the brand new redesigned riser this is a six inch riser the indian has designed for this bike and you're still going to have easy access to your digital analog right there which i'll go ahead and turn on right now so you guys can take a look at that uh but this thing is is beautiful i really like the way it looks like that the way it turns on it's all touch tone and it's really easy to navigate and use it throughout anytime you're on the bike or whatnot really really cool so it comes with the six inch riser um and then you're also going to have another option if you want to buy or purchase after which is a 10 inch which is uh even better than this because they're you're, it's going to have your hands up a bit more a bit more comfortable that's the bike that i kind of uh uh did my first impression right on and i uh, absolutely love it um I, I honestly at first at the design when i first saw the pictures i wasn't too crazy about it but now in person i really like them a lot more you know they did a really good job with the design really 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 nice looking right there now we spoke about the fairing we spoke about the riser they also went ahead and redid the whole front end so we are now having an inverted front end and you're going to have kyb shocks and those inverted forks in the front um let me tell you the bike feels great it feels nimble um it feels like you kind of throw it around the twisties really good took this bike around the twisties all day and i had a great great time on it so flickable it's so easy to turn the bike over a really really fun bike to ride at high speeds and through those corners um. It's crazy what a little drastic rake can do to the handle of a bike, um, and then especially with the with the KYB um, shocks in the front as well. Really, really good. 
Um, making our way down, we're going to have these big rotors here. We're going to have Brembo brakes on there as well. So a huge, huge upgrade with that. Um, making our way to the back, we got Fox piggyback shocks. Um, these things are great. Uh, they feel great. Um, stock suspension on uh, on the Chief Dark Horse is not the best. I'll tell you right now. It's a little stiff. Too stiff for my taste. And this is definitely a huge upgrade that which if the bike didn't have it, you would probably want to buy. And I'm really happy that they added this component now. And it's an aftermarket. It's not even, you know, it's not done by Indian. So they went far enough to give you some really, really good shocks. Um, and Fox has done a great job with these piggybacks right here as well. Um, and then... Last but not least, we have this brand new seat. So if you are familiar with the old Chief, it has like a little pad of a seat. And if you, you know, the, the, this bike is full of torque and it launches you back. So there was no little backrest back here to hold you in. It was kind of like launching you back. Now with this brand new design seat, it's really plush. Um, it's pretty comfortable. And then it has that nice little pad right there to keep you in place. It's not going to launch you back anymore. Uh, so it's making the bike a bit more comfortable. Um, really, really easy to ride. You're going to have mid controls right here. Um, this is a cruiser, kind of a performance cruiser now. So mids, awesome fitment for that type of riding style. Or if you want to make your way on this side, you're going to have your USB port right here. If you want to charge any device, which is pretty good. Um, and overall, just a, a really, really nice looking bike. I think India did a great job. The bike feels great. Um, I did my first ride impression video. If you want to take a look at that, I'll be linking that at the end if it's up already. And some other cool stuff. We got some some great uh, drone footage. Um, we got uh, some footage from a chase car that we had. And a lot of good photos. So um, a lot of those photos are going to be on my Instagram as well. So if you do not follow me on my Instagram, that's the same name as my YouTube channel, MarvelKid87. Now, let's keep talking a little bit more about the bike. So this bike is equipped with with the Thunderstroke 116. So punch in about 120 foot pounds of torque and you instantly feel it as soon as you get on that throttle, man. So let's turn on, show you guys real quick how the analog works. Um, also the hand control. So you got your on and off button here, on and cutoff switch right here. Cruise control, this bike also comes equipped with cruise control, which is a another plus. Um, on this side, you are going to have this little toggle right here, which is going to allow you to navigate a little bit more throughout that analog right there. You're going to have your horn, uh, high beam, low beam, left turn, uh, right turn. If you're going to link up your Bluetooth, you're going to have access to um, navigate your music a little bit easier. And then this is just to toggle through the analog on there. Now, now that we got this open, Hit that main menu, you got sport mode, standard, and touring mode, which is really, really tame. Right here, you're gonna have information on your distance, elevation, a um, bunch of random stuff on there. Uh, your GPS, turn by turn signal. This thing is amazing. So it's punch in whatever address you want, and there goes your GPS. You don't have your, you don't have your phone on you anymore on here, man. It's just everything is right here, right where you want it. Um, easy access right here as well. So you got your RPM, lets you know what gear you're on, your speed, lets you know the temperature outside, which is amazing. And just, just want to switch it over to this as well. It's just a, a bunch of stuff, man. It, this, this bike is really, 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 really fun. Now I am about five, seven and I am able to flat foot this bike really really easy you're gonna have led and turn signals in the back right there as well so you can see that one blinking um i really like that bobbed out fender in the back really really nice the, this this bike has a little bit of everything man i re really like the way it's just put together and especially now with that fairing it gives it a nice little club style look right when the chief came out i spoke about everything that i liked about the bike everything i love and then i spoke about everything that I would like to change about this bike if I had one and how I would build it out. And the things that I pretty much mentioned in that video are basically all the things that they have done to this bike. They added a fairing, they added a riser, they changed the seat, they upgraded the suspension in the back. And th this is all from stock right now. So you can literally go ahead, go to your Indian dealership and buy this bike stock. This is exactly how it comes. And for the price point, that's that, that that's that's not bad man it, i think you're you're getting a lot for your buck i'll be uh, showing you guys right here some price points on everything um and i i think it's it's a pretty 
good bargain. Anyways, that's going to pretty much conclude everything in this review. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you want to look at more footage about the bike, like I said, I will be posting up more videos um, out here riding in beautiful Texas. And if you have any more questions, feel free to drop your comments and your thoughts down below. I got to go find these people now because I don't know where everybody went. We came over here together. We got... Brandy Picasso over there somewhere. Blockhead and Jess are somewhere else. And yeah. Anyways, like, if you're new to my channel, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. That's gonna notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. And like always, guys, let the force be with you. All right, safe. Enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. It's not like before, man. Before you got on around these twisties and you were scraping all over the place. That was a lot better. Everything just feels.